are on the road and he knows how I like to roll. Like come on, let's get let's get moving, let's get out of here. I know how you are. It's okay, I'm not way too. The good. last day I'm like always ready for like let's just go. I mean it's better just to like hit the road in case you hit traffic. So yeah. I feel like the earlier you go the better. We, we got a plan set up. We're gonna try to get some McDonald's, some Starbucks, some gas. We all packed up. Kids are all set. Got the hot spot. Their switches. Do you guys have a good time? Yeah. yeah. I hope are you guys. You, you guys ready to go home? Yes. I hope you guys had a good time. We did lots of fun stuff, I right? Had the best time. Yeah. I'm glad. That that's why me and Mom like to go on vacation with you guys. We want you guys to have good experiences. Have a good time. Right. I'll be honest, I had a really good time too. There were probably like a dozen times I was thinking like, should I cancel? Should we not go? Should we save money? But Power was the one that was like, come on, let's go. <laughs> we haven't been there in years, blah, blah, blah. So I guess we have Daddy to thank. And we got to give Annie all the credit for doing all the planning <laughs> and driving and everything. <laughs> Power is back. I was just about to vlog. I was looking for the vlogger. He ran Did into. You guess her? Yeah, I just filled up thirty dollars. It got me five gallons here. We made a mistake. We were like, let's just hit the road and get the gas on the road. It would have been a lot cheaper to get gas um, where we were at. Yeah, in Vegas, because we're just kind of we're in Prim, so there's really not that many selections or options around here. They so. redid this Starbucks in the bathrooms in there too. I think so it's nicer? I think yeah. I think with the pandemic all these places like redid. Oh that's there. good. So you guys sure you guys don't need to use the restroom? Okay. Two more hours till our next break. Um Uriah. We got pretty clear roads, not a lot of traffic, making good pace. I don't want to jinx ourselves but it's really been pretty drama free problem free trip I mean, uh, we lost except, our vlogger except losing the vlogger once but we found it like uh, an hour or two that. later <laughs> no i didn't think so we're still good <laughs> no traffic clear roads we made it home you guys the drive i mean i can't complain it wasn't terrible but the last leg of it maybe like the last hour hour and a half it was, i don't know it seemed really long to me oh my butt is sore the first thing i did when i came in was to water my poor plants <laughs> my poor plants i'll show you guys later but um i was watering it i think i turned on the water too high and I kind of blasted it, which I didn't mean to, but okay? I don't know, I don't know. My lavender doesn't look like it's doing too good. The strawberry, some of them look okay, and some of them look a little sad. I thought, so Power and I had some miscommunication because I thought Power was gonna ask our neighbor to water the plants, but he claims he does not remember this at all. No he was the one that rec that like suggested it because I was like, oh no, on my plants, you know, and then he's like, oh, we can have so and so water it, and I was like, oh okay, but anyway, so I didn't get watered this whole time, so I just watered it. Now it's hot out there. It's like 98 degrees today. I don't know why we have this heat wave, but yeah, and then I just watered um, these guys here. So they, I mean, these guys are fine. They. You know, they're just, they're indoor plants, they're succulents. I normally don't water it every, maybe like every three to four days anyways. So yeah, I'm surprised my little celery is doing so good here. Look at this guy, holy moly. Gotta get this guy in the ground. Everybody else seems to be doing okay. Let's look at our, at our mint. Whoa, look at the roots in my mint. I had dill in here too, but they were just dying. They were not, um, they were not rooting. So I took the dill out and I just have the mint in here. So after, after some time, I'm going to take them out and I am going to plant them somewhere. Probably a pot because I've read that they can be invasive and they'll like take over if you just, you know, don't plant them in like a, a contained like a container so anyways I'll probably do that one of these days uh, but yeah glad my little plants are doing okay here I repotted um, this guy 
<laughs> he's starting to stand up a little bit here. This guy, um, I don't know. Everybody seems to be doing okay. Oh man, you guys. It's been a little while since we last vlogged, since I last vlogged. Basically, everybody's just been kind of like chilling out. I've had time to rest and kind of getting a little bit hungry. Power says he's getting hungry. Boys have not complained yet, but I'm sure they're getting a little hungry as well. But it's such an odd time. It's like 3.45, uh, almost 4 o'clock. And I told Power like, can we just like wait? <laughs> till dinner time but I don't know he says he's hungry right now anyways so I came out of the room I'm just trying to convince power to have some salad because we have a whole head of lettuce and he told me he was gonna eat salad but he never did um he saw the longanisa in the freezer and that's what he wants so I'm gonna make him his longanisa. He's still on keto, by the way. Throughout this whole vacation, he has been pretty good about keeping keto. He did have a little bit of carbs when we were at Luke's Lobster, and he had a little bit of, oh, the Ghirardelli hot fudge sundae. So he had he did have some of that. But other, other than those couple of things, he was pretty much on keto um, the whole trip. For us, for the rest of us, I think I'm gonna make pho. So I did try to plan ahead and I did get a package of uh, noodles and a package of, uh, what's it called? Beef balls. And I have a uh, thing of frozen pho broth. So yeah, I'm gonna make the kids and myself pho. And then I'll just make power his longanisa, I guess. Even though I'd rather him eat the <laughs> salad, but he never ever wants to eat the salad, I swear. He'll say he'll eat he'll eat salad and then we buy like all these things for salad and then literally it just goes bad. That's what happens every single time. So anyways, this is for power. Sweet longanisa. Power's longanisa looks like they're ready. I'm just gonna cut it in half to make sure that it's fully cooked inside it is pork so you need to make sure make sure it's um, fully cooked inside don't worry about it being so dark it's not burnt it's just that um, like I said the longanisa it actually has a lot of sugar so the darkness or the blackness is just from the caramelization of the sugar so let's cut it open yeah that's cooked let's cut one more Hi. Cooked. Huh? What is it, babe? I want snow Oh yes. Oh yeah, yeah. I I washed out some snow peas so we can add it into our pho. We did this last time and it was actually really, really good. Uriah and I enjoyed it immensely, right? Mom, can you put it in second uh, uh different bowl this time? No, I'm gonna put it all together, babe. But I want it to be in a different bowl. Okay, well, we'll see. Yeah, so Uriah and I enjoyed it. PJ, mm, not so much. He did eat it, but, you know, PJ is just very, like, I guess particular about his food. If he likes something, like, a certain way, he doesn't want anything different. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to, like, taint it, you know? Anyways. Um, so, yeah, this is done. Power, your longanisa is done. Do you need me to cut all of them, or are you a big boy and can you boy. can you bite it yourself? <laughs> it's nice. Mm -hmm. it smells really good. It does smell good. And since I have some mint, I'm gonna wash some and throw some into my pho. I actually forgot last time that I have mint. I really, I really wish I had um, Thai basil, but it's okay. Next time I come across Thai basil, I'll probably try to root it like this and then put it in the ground everything is ready this is pj's bowl this is uriah's bowl um i'm just waiting for this to cook a little bit that's pretty much done and then i am gonna put the snow peas in a separate bowl for the little prince over here dinner time here you go rye here's your pho 
Oh, we're gonna get to the snow peas. It's getting hot in here, the boys. Food! Alright, take out the shirts, it's too hot. Food! It's just getting hot in here. Food! That was good as usual, PJ. Here's your extra side of snow peas, your highness. Jump off, I hope you know that. Well, at least you'll know that now. Is that right? We have no time to fight the edge of this building. I'm not sure where, though. I don't want to get snuck up from behind. Even though it's so hot, and we're sweating, eating our pho, the boys are topless, shirtless. It's hot! It's still really good. Right? Yeah. Kids taking their sweet time over here. Alright, we're at the library. So we could return some books and check some other books out and also to enjoy their AC because our, our house was so hot. <clears throat> this reminds me of summertime to be honest with you. We do have all the books except for one. PJ can't find his one of his books. I'm sure it'll turn uh, up somewhere. One? Yes, thank you. World of Go. Goo. Goo. G O O is goo. Okay. Goo. World of Goo. Mm -hmm. So we're at Target now. PJ's in the cart reading a book. Power took you right to the restroom, and I'm just kind of like nerding out on all these. Oh, Hello. there you are. I'm kind of nerding out on all these like outdoorsy stuff. You know, the plants and. The pots and the seeds and the barbecue stuff and the patio furniture because you know we've been trying to like redo our backyard so just nerding out on everything here. This is a comfy chair. It is or is not? It is. Oh. You want to try the comfy chair? No thanks. I'll give these little grow kits here. I'm not a sucker though. It's usually you know kind of expensive for for these little grow kits, but. What about this? Yeah, it's a planter. I used to have one of those. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I threw it out. I bought it from Daiso. <laughs> I thought this was kind of neat, this like potato um, grower. You just basically need two buckets, one to fit inside of the other so that you can like take it out and dig out your potatoes. Ooh, I want this potato one for my potato. <laughs> you want to try growing potatoes? I know. We might have some potatoes sprouting at home. <laughs> How? Because if it gets old, sometimes it just gets shriveled up and wrinkled up and then you have to throw it away and soft. And then sometimes they sprout. And if they sprout, then you can plant it to grow more potatoes. Yeah. Laura is going to help me build a Lego set. I think for these little <clears throat> boxes, you can just open both packs, Laura. You need to open both bags. Can you get me some scissors? Okay. Next, we need this. Okay, I think I need two. It says it need one, but I need two. Okay. Now what do we need? Oh, oh, oh. I found it. I think. I think. Now, come on. <laughs> found it. Okay. Yeah. On to the next page. I should put Mando's head on and it's armor. It's mostly going on. It doesn't have to sell it. Need one more of these. Can't find another one. <sighs> All right, guys. I finally finished building my new Mando ship for my dad. Oh, it's upside down. 
So, uh, some Nando chip. I'm just going to turn on the lights. Don't ignore that it's all black. Uh, there we go. As you can see, those are the blasters right there. Those are the blasters. And these are the turbo boosters. Uh, well, this is Nando here. So yeah, it's cool, right? Comment down below if you think it's a Razor Crest. That is not a Razor Crest. A Razor Crest is, is held up vertically, not horizontally. Bye.